Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, today we have a really cool video. I have this G173 dune buggy here. This thing is supposed to get like 40 kilometers an hour in speed, and it's four wheel drive. It's got uh, a two cell battery system, comes with a nice controller here, and it looks pretty cool, but I haven't driven it yet, so I'm about to do that. So that's why I'm out here at my little field this morning to uh, check it out. Hey, get on me, camera. So this G173 looks pretty cool. I'm gonna take it for a spin and see what it can do. So here we go. Taking a look at the cool controller that it comes with, you get a little power switch here and two trim controls to make sure everything is driving straight and proper. So let's uh, check it out with the car. So on the car, your batteries go here and here and uh, you have the power switch and we're all set to go. So let's see how she does. Looks like we can get wheelies out of it pretty good. Let's try the brakes, brakes work well. And if I back it up, let's just back it up here. Nice and slow. So it looks like I could drive it slow and forward. That's about the slowest I can get it to go right there. And of course, if you gun it backwards, you do little flippies. See, the buggy has no problems driving on the grass. Snow, not a problem for this. Now I've been driving this around, look, I'm getting it pretty dirty underneath. I'm driving around through the mud, the snow, the road here. It's pretty fun, but I'm going to uh, just check out how fast I can get it to go. So I'm gonna put a GoPro on the top. You can see it's gonna be hard, pretty hard to get the GoPro to stay on there, but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna enable the GPS and the GoPro so I can actually monitor the speed. It's gonna be pretty difficult on this little bit of pavement to get it going straight, but I'll give it a try. All right, try to get this on as best I can. All right, so there we go. I've got the GoPro Hero 7 with the GPS enabled on the top. It's gonna to add some weight, so I don't know if I'll get top speed. Probably a lot of crashes, because I gotta to try to keep it going straight down this little bit of pavement. Here we go. Let's just uh, take some little test runs here, see how we get it. Full speed. That's the best I get. Here's a jump. Whoa! It's going full speed. That's full speed, guys. I can't get any faster than that. All right, guys, that's my review of this here dune buggy. It's pretty cool. I've been driving around the parking lot and it's a blast to drive. So uh, I'm gonna put links below, check it out. Can you even see me over this tire here? <laughs> uh, put links below, you can check it out on the, uh, the Banggood website. And uh, it's very inexpensive. When I say inexpensive, I mean very inexpensive. Check it out, it's great. If you wanna get into RC vehicles, this one's a lot of fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Take care, we'll catch you in the next one. And now a quick unboxing of this really cool dune buggy four-wheel drive. First thing we have is a controller and it has a nice soft touch to it here. They didn't put hard plastic, which is nice. And we have two trim controls right here and a power switch. Anything else, we'll have to put batteries down here. And it takes three AA batteries. Also included in the box where the controller was are two large 3.7 volt batteries and they are 1500 milliamps each. Plus you get a charger for these batteries and a USB cable that plugs into this here charger. You get a super tiny Phillips screwdriver. And finally the buggy itself, here we go. It's got nice little shocks in the front, independent. And going on the bottom, I see the on off switch right here. We see the same shock system right there. Spare tire in the back here. There's the driver right there. You can probably put a little LED lights in here to finish it off. You can see the front servo here for the steering servo. There's your antenna right here. Batteries are in it, just testing it out. It does have progressive steering. See, nice turning each direction. So yeah, it seems to work okay. And seems to have a good amount of power. 